Hi there, Floss Tube. It's Cowgirl Kate, and I'm coming at you today with uh, the project of Midsummer Night's Fairy. And I just thought, well, maybe it'd be kind of nice to record the process of beating her wings because how often does uh, Midsummer Night Fairy get filmed getting her wings adjusted? So here we go. Um, this morning I've already put uh, these beads on before I even noticed that my camera quit. So that was kind of discouraging. So I'm trying a different setup and we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. So here we go. Um, I'm going to zoom in here with the camera. You can see down here at the bottom of my Q snaps, I have just a little pile of beads. And being that she's on this make, make do, um, it's actually a latch hook stand that I use for beading. Um, I just, this is going to work for how, <laughs> how I'm going to have to film this because well, we'll just see how it goes. So, here we go. The beating of Midsummer Night's Fairy. It rained all last night. So everything is kind of muddy outside, but it is nice and sunny out there today. So, just... Uh, in over the noon hour and I thought well I'll see how much progress I can actually do. It's always kind of nice to get those little snips of time that you can make some real progress. So I hope this finds everyone well and I hope the camera is not shaking too badly. I apologize if it is. Like I said, this is kind of a wacky new setup that I'm trying to see how it works. I wish me luck on that score. I'm using a half stitch is all to attach these beads and I'm also using the invisible thread. The reason I'm doing that, because my normal way is to use a full cross, and the beads lie horizontally then, but the reason I'm doing it this way is because she's on the recommended 32 count Stony Point Perman Linen by Wischelt, and um, her beads are pretty clustered and they can be a tight fit. And the popular advice from years ago was to attach the beads with a half stitch so that they would be slanted and fit a little better. So that's how I started them. And hopefully that does the trick. If you look up here where it's a little more crowded, it seems to work out okay. So. We'll try it for this project, um, but in future, I would like to stick to my normal, normal way of doing the beads. It just seems to work better for me, you know. Aren't we all creatures of habit? I do like how all the colors look on this color of fabric, but if ever I was to redo this project, I would pick a hand dyed. No question. But 
But that said, I think Mitty has the most beautiful wings of any cross stitch pattern in the industry. And that's saying something because I'm not even sure when this pattern was released, but she's got staying power because she's so beautiful. I mean, those wings, they are, I don't know, they set the bar pretty high, in my opinion, for um, designers because Nora did such a fabulous job on them. They are pretty awesome. The only thing I don't like about the half stitch is it doesn't hold the tension very well. And I'm finding that I have to use my other hand underneath to hold the thread a little bit tighter. And with doing it as a full cross, I've, yeah, once that bead's on there, it's not going anywhere. But with the half stitch, it's a little. A little more fiddly, but anyway, uh, what should we talk about? It'd be kind of fun to do a, a Q and A feature, or you know, I, I see sometimes um, people welcome questions or comments, and I always forget to do that at some point in my video. So I'll have to put it in this one. If you have questions or whatever, I'd be more than happy to answer them as best I could. I think it's kind of a, a cool thing to, you know, let your subscribers in on a few, you know, questions that they might have about you know what's going on with your projects or life or you know whatever I just think that's very inviting and you know helps to build rapport and you know it's just a cute thing so but, well yeah why not I always forget to add that She calls for a lot of this color for beads, but that's okay. I think it's magical, and I'm probably going to add more, but I usually wait to do that um, until I get the regular stuff in an area, and then I just kind of take a step back and decide, well, I'm going to add some more here, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of what happens. So, I've kind of gotten this section of beads done that as is charted for. And there are no beads along the top here, which I think is strange because there's a bunch up along the top here. So, I'm going to start adding little extras get off my way so and they're just going to be random I'm not even counting where they're going to go I'm just kind of putting them in wherever my eye says that a bead should live there so very random And I figure, what the heck, it's going to live on, well, this one, it's going to live on my wall, so I'll just make it how it appeals best to me. 
you know, I like extra. So they always get extra. suppose I could give a farming update while I'm at this. Um, being it rained last night, um, my son Jake was very concerned because the sister mamas, those uh, mama kitties that are sharing the litter, um, they're at odds with uh, where their babies should live. And so for the last couple of days, one mother moves them to one area and the other mother moves them back to the barn and then to another area and they've just been kind of doing this musical nest thing. And now this morning I saw uh, Roni running across the yard and she had an orange kitten in her mouth that she was carrying and um, trouble trotting along behind her, just kind of waiting for her to put it down so she could pick it up and put it back where she thought it ought to go. So, I mean, I wish I had my camera around for that one, but it was kind of funny. So, we'll just kind of have to see. We had uh, such a storm last night that we were a little concerned that uh, the babies would have gotten all wet because Roni had moved her kittens out into the cornfield. Now, the corn is maybe two inches tall right now, so there's no cover. Uh, we don't know what she was thinking, but she had three of them out there. And, I mean, it was a really stupid idea, really. Because we have hawks, we have eagles, you know, there's all kinds of stuff out there. So we thought that was a pretty stupid idea, and we brought them back. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. This is a dumb thing. And um, she let them, she let them stay in the, in the barn overnight, and that wasn't a concern. Nobody moved them last night, thank God, because we got two inches of rain. So <laughs> now today, I see they're running all over the yard with uh, little baby kittens. So it's just kind of funny. It's like a. I don't know, almost like a soap opera, only it's cats. I mean, how messed up is that when you stop and think about it? And then, of course, we're probably weird for paying so much attention to them. I mean, when you stop and think about the grand scheme of things. So, I don't have a too terribly long of a lunch break just yet. Some things I gotta attend to because being we did get two inches of rain last night I'm gonna have to check the fences down by the cricks and make sure that nothing's washed because hmm, when we get a fence that washes out that means the cows are gonna find it and go wherever the heck they want which is never any fun ever so hopefully they've all been up on the hillsides today. So hopefully it's um <laughs> it's been quiet enough. They're not concerned about it. But I still need to go check it. Make sure. So anyway, I want to thank you for uh stopping by. Hopefully this uh video uploads all right and um you kind of get a taste of what what it's like to bead the wings on midi. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you all again soon. So take care now. I'm going to just do a close up of what's gotten done this morning. It doesn't take very long especially when you're doing the half stitch method.
That, oh, I just love that crystal. I just love it. And I've anchored it with a, a petite gold bead. I think her shoulders um, have those beads and on her dress. So that's what I use to anchor my crystal. You can certainly use another color if you like or even just sew it down through the middle like you would a button. But I like to use the little beads on top to just give it that extra sparkle, I think. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully the next time I get to play with uh, Mitty, she's going to have even more done. And uh, yeah, she might just be a finish yet. Who knows? Maybe in a hundred years. Thanks for watching. Take care.